Hello everyone, Josh Weber here with Big Red Jelly. Today we're going to be diving into a website for a small business called Agape Lash Studio. So again, you can apply these principles that I'm gonna go through to your website, to any website, but these tips and pieces of advice are particularly important for small business owners who have a physical location, right? So if you're a chiropractor, a dentist, an orthodontist, a studio, you have a place a building, an office, a location where customers come and visit you. Although, if you do not have a business in that particular industry, it's okay. Many of these principles will still apply. So we're gonna jump in here. This is actually a client that we're currently working on. And as you can see here, very clearly, she does have a studio location that her customers can go and visit. So let's talk about what some of the obvious problems are that we can fix that will greatly improve her conversions, increase her customers, and increase her sales at the end of the day. Okay, number one is this, and I've said this many times if you've heard any of my previous videos, highlight the fact that you are a small business. Too often we try to duplicate and copy what big box companies are doing, and that really is missing the point, right? If people want to come to your business because you're a small local business owner, they're expecting that one-to-one -one treatment, they're gonna be greeted by their first name at the door, they're gonna get next level customer service that Amazon, Walmart, these big box companies just simply cannot offer. So how do we do that on a website in the brand? Well, there's a couple tactics right away. So she's doing one thing really well here, which is she's got a photo of the studio. I would take it a step further and I would have a gallery maybe toward the bottom of the homepage where people can have a virtual tour of the physical location. This does a couple of things right out of the gate. Number one, it shows them the beauty of your physical location. Number two, it gives them, it breaks down those barriers between the customer and your business before they even visit, right? I like to use this term meeting you before meeting you, right? So if they go to our team page, they should see and meet you and get to know you and feel like they're building a relationship with you before they pick up the phone, before they visit your location, et cetera, et cetera. It continues to shock me just how much small business owners kind of hide this fact or it's really hard to get to when that's one of the greatest attributes and UVPs that you have to offer, right? Walk through my front doors and more often than not, you're going to meet me, the business owner right? I'm not going to go walk into an Amazon warehouse and meet Jeff Bezos right out of the gate, right? That would be really cool, but you have that opportunity. So highlight that on your website. Number two, let's get a little bit more technical here. Think about the calls to action. So something that she's doing well here is she clearly has book now, book now, book now, right? In several different places. That's great. Let's click on one of these buttons and see what happens. I have to scroll down here and then I get to a phone number to book an appointment okay and then there's a, a product here and then there's book now again so in other words I click on book now it takes me to a page then I have to scroll down and then it says call this number to book an appointment so think about those steps that were so unnecessary that I could help remove to make the buying and scheduling process that much shorter and that much more efficient. So when I sat down with Sarah, our build strategist who's working on this project, we said, okay, think through the mind of the consumer here, right? I want to go, I just moved into this neighborhood. I want to book an appointment at this Lash studio. I find them on Google, I find them on Facebook. However that is, I go to their website. More often than not, people are probably wanna, go, wanna find two things right out of the gate, phone number and address, right? Right? Service cannot be performed here unless I go to that physical location. Look how hard it is to find the address. I have to scroll all the way down to the footer and there's the address in very small font. What is that, 12 point font? And by the way, it's not hyperlinked, so I can't even click on it. So if I'm on my phone, I have to scroll down, use my two thumbs and click copy all, copy that, go to my Google Maps app, plug it in, and now I can go. And I'm probably doing this all on the road, which is just not a good idea, right? So same thing with the phone number, same thing with the email. Email. Let's make it easier on the user. So if I was to tweak this, which is what we're planning on doing, I still like the book now, which we're gonna transform to be book online. We're gonna integrate some online booking and scheduling software, that's a whole other conversation. But that's there for the more tech savvy consumer or visitor who prefers to do it all online without picking up the phone. 
Right next to it, we're gonna have two secondary calls to action, which is gonna be get directions, call now. Mobile responsive, I click on call now, it calls for studio. The other one, get directions, I got directions, it pulls up in my app of choice, Apple Maps, Google Maps, I'm on the road. Super simple to do business now with the studio. So those are the first things to look at and address. Okay, what makes me special? What makes me unique? Why would someone pick my business? Highlight that on your brand and your website. Number two, start to ask yourself, what are the calls to action? Are they efficient? Are they clear? And are there multiple avenues by which people can do business with me, find me, etc., etc. Finally, my last piece of advice here and something that we're gonna to do to transform, there's a lot of things, but one of the things too is just restructuring the pages here. So I've said this before, I'll say it one more time. We tend to overestimate the marketing ability of our websites meaning we launch a website and we just think it's gonna bring in leads and new business and sales like never before. Many of you know that that just doesn't happen, but we tend to underestimate the functionality and operational effectiveness of a website. So for example, what I would do and what we will do for Agape Lash Studio is we're going to create these pages that are gonna be helpful for her to run her business. For example, we're gonna have a portal on here for people to pay their invoices or sign up for a subscription membership, thus opening up a recurring revenue source for her, right? Offer your customers a 10% discount and then they get X amount of appointments every month or every quarter. People would love that. Have a place for gift cards or gifts or discounts where I can send a studio appointment to my friend or family member. Have a page where I can get to know your team, explore your team members and your artists, etc., etc. Have a page on there for content-rich material, meaning a blog or uh, FAQs, how-tos, listicles, trends in the beauty space, right? Additionally, I would have, again, a virtual gallery, just like we see here, but a much more in-depth. I might even have a secondary menu where I can go into even more detail, right? Where I might have partners that do things similar to what I do. Maybe I've got a barber partner. Maybe I've got a partner who also goes into some fashion and vice versa. So now I'm building my backlinks, etc., etc. So as you can see here, a website can be a lot more than just a flyer, than a digital doormat, than just kind of a place that explains what I do. It can be a tool and a funnel that drives sales, yes, but it can also be a tool that you use in your business for day-to-day, -day, weekly, monthly activities. It'll save you time, it'll make more money, it'll impress your clients and customers, and it will help your business grow. These are just some of the tactics that we implement in our build process here at Big Red Jelly. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, schedule a free consultation. We'll take a look at your website, whether you have one or not, your dream website, and tell you some simple things you can change that are going to drastically improve your business growth. So reach out today. I'd love to geek out about this stuff, talk about this. It's all about what you connect your website to. What are the automations, the tools, the content, the page structure? What does the mobile version look like? What's the messaging, the brand? How are you differentiating your business from the dozens of other lash studios or beauty studios that are on the same block? Because you have to, right? And that's what you can do here with effective branding and building strategies. So hopefully this was helpful. Maybe you pulled one tip out of here that you can apply to your own business and see the results that follow. Thank you.